puppet warp, first make sure that the layer you're going to be working on is a cutout with the background removed. Go to the Edit menu and choose Puppet Warp. And you'll see this grid appearing over your cutout. Photoshop needs it. We don't need to see it, it just gets in the way. So click the Show Mesh button on the Options bar to hide it. Start placing pins in the positions where you're going to want the object to stay still. If I put a pin just behind the head, I can pick up the head and move it independently of the previous two pins that stay in place. You can see the legs are moving along with it. We want them to stay where they are. So let's put extra pins in the legs to fix them and stop them moving around so much. Now we pick up the head and those legs stay put. We can bend it down and you can see how organically this whole thing moves. If you hold the Option or Alt key, you can move the cursor just outside that pin and rotate around that pin. And that allows us to tuck this wolf's head behind its leg. The reason it's behind the leg is because the pin on the head was positioned before we put in the pin on the leg. You can bring it forwards by adjusting the pin depth using these two controls on the options bar. You can always go back and move any of the pins around if they don't seem to be quite in the right position. You can see a slight white halo sometimes around your cutouts. That's just in the preview. Once you hit the enter key or click the tick on the options bar, that disappears.